NFL quarterback Drake Lindsey says he took the ability to walk for granted until he was immobilized due to a leg injury. When he came back, he became one of the best high school football players in Arkansas. Today, he signed his national letter of intent to continue his playing career. Came to BA's Casey Smith was at that signing ceremony today and got to talk with the new Minnesota Golden Gopher. Casey. Yeah, Chad, Drake Lindsay put pen to paper at Harmon Field Wednesday, fulfilling his dream to play college football. But a serious leg injury he suffered before his freshman year tested his will to continue to play the game that he loves. Not going to Arkansas means a lot to me and my family. Uh, exploring the world and doing stuff on my own. Uh, I feel like that's big for me, uh, just getting out of my comfort zone and doing things that I want. Quarterback Drake Lindsay signed to play football at the University of Minnesota Wednesday. His grandfather played football at the University of Arkansas and for the Minnesota Vikings, but he says that didn't factor into his decision. Going to play for the university and making my own legacy there is huge. But Lindsay's football dream was in doubt after suffering a torn patella tendon prior to his freshman season of high school. There were super hard times of physical therapy. There were times I wanted to give up. Lindsay was unable to walk for two months. He says he leaned on his faith throughout his recovery process. The 2023 Arkansas Max Preps player of the year says the hardship of physical therapy increased his drive to get back on the field. That made me want it super bad, you know, because I was watching all my friends play, watching all my buddies play, and like not getting to play with them and not getting to play the sport I love, like made me want it 10 times more. So I feel like, you know, God does everything for a reason, and uh, that injury definitely happened for a reason. Lindsey says he didn't feel back to 100% until his junior season. Across his last two years, Lindsey threw for 7,500 yards and 89 touchdowns. He ended his high school career by bringing Fayetteville its first state championship since 2016. Playing Friday nights and being able to win a state championship was like, I mean, I couldn't ask for anything more. Fayetteville head coach Casey Dix says Lindsey's ability to lead by example for the younger players will leave a lasting impact on the program. I think everybody will uh, look around and, and want to be number five for a while. Lindsay says the injury shaped him into the player and man he is today. He'll enroll early and begin practicing with the Golden Gophers on January 11th. In studio, Casey Smith, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.